Good morning. I am here to read you a story, do a little bit of a circle time. So um, we are doing a new unit. We are going to start talking about clothes. So clothes are the things we wear. And right now, the season is winter. What kind of clothes do we wear in the winter? Hmm. Do we wear bathing suits? No. Do we wear shorts? No. Do we wear coats and vests and long sleeves? Yes, yes we do so that we can stay warm. So we're gonna read the story called The Mitten and we are going to be talking about the story. I have some, I'm gonna bring this closer. I was gonna sit in the chair. I'm just gonna bring this right here. I'm gonna do it right here so you can see the book better and the animals better. The Mitten. This is by Jan Brett. She is she's um, she adapted it and illustrated it. And Jan Brett um, is a great author who has lots of great books, parents that have beautiful pictures and lots of great prediction um, abilities. So that's a good author to look into. The Mitten by Jan Brett. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, who he called Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, can you see that little mole? discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Look, I'm gonna find the mole. Here's my mole, and I'm gonna put him in the mitten. In goes the mole. Next, a snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He hopped for a moment to admire his winter, stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. What are the big kickers? What does that mean? Let's look. Here's the snowshoe rabbit. What would he use to kick? His feet, those are his big kickers. That's what she meant. So we're gonna put him in feet first because that's what it says. Here he goes, in the mitten. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Let's see what the prickles are. Look, he's got little spiky things. Okay, we're gonna put him in. Here goes Hedgehog in the mitten. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled, but when he saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Let's see. This is an owl, and look down here, at the bottom, you can see his talons. They're very pokey. Eagles have talons, and owls have talons, and they grab things. Okay, we're gonna put him in, talons first. In goes the owl. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Okay, let's find the badger. Here's the badger, and he's got big spikes on his teeth, they, or on his teeth, on his feet. They call those diggers. We're gonna put in the badger. <gasps> it started snowing. Ooh, we know about that. It's been snowing a lot here. 
but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. What does that mean? Drowsy means tired, made him tired. The fox poked his muzzle in. That means his nose is his muzzle. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. There's the fox. Fox goes in the mitten. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. That means it didn't rip, it didn't tear. She did good knitting and it stayed together. Along, oop, we gotta get that bear in. You ready? There's the bear. Bear goes in. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the bear's nose. There's the mouse. I'm gonna put her on the put him up put on the bear's nose. <sighs> The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten into the air. Oh, let's see. See if I can do this. Shot the mitten into the air. Oh, there it goes. Into the air. And let's see if we can get the animals to fly out. Woo, the animals everywhere. <sighs> They scattered in all directions. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the sky. What is it? What is that? It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Oh. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe. Then she saw he still had his new mittens. Look at her. She's looking and she's like, wait a minute. Look at her face. It's looking confused. Wait a minute, why is one little and one so big? Talk about that with your families. Why would one mitten be so little and one be so big? And was Baba in the woods? Does she know what happened? No, Nikki and Baba don't know. Only you know the secret of what happened to that mitten. Talk about it with your family, and when you come to school, you can tell me why one mitten is big and one is little. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you as soon as I can. I miss you guys so much. Sorry we haven't had school, but I'm so glad you're not driving in the icy roads. It's pretty dangerous, so I will see you soon. Bye-bye.